What is up YouTube, it is Matt back with another crypto video and today on Digibyte. And as always, if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and let's get right to it. So this first article here, Digibyte, BBC cybersecurity discussions brings out the need for Digibyte in online security. Second article here, VID gets together with Digibyte to boost digital file security. And I gotta say, for being an ICO, uh, VID has obtained a very impressive partner in the Airbus defense and space and uh pretty uh geniusly of them you could say is that they are tackling basically an untapped market and we'll get to that later so uh last article i have for you here uh digibyte now accessible on more exchanges the groundwork for digibyte growth is getting better so this first article here out of the crypto recorder uh bbc cybersecurity discussion brings out the need for digibyte and online security today uh, BBC hosted an interview with the CEO of Sonic Wall. From this discussion, it came out uh, clearly that cyber attacks have become a serious risk to the web as we know it today. The interview touched on an increased number, increase of cyber attacks by more than 800 million, and that, and how companies are losing millions of dollars through such attacks. Clearly, as the world becomes more connected, cybersecurity stands out as the biggest threat to its connectivity. But it also presents a huge opportunity for blockchain projects that can efficiently provide a solution to this problem. So uh, Bitcoin came up and gained in popularity due to the failings of the global financial system in 2008 when people realized that holding money in the bank didn't necessarily guarantee that you owned it. The need for a people driven system shot up. That's why Bitcoin grew and continues to grow in popularity as an alternative store to, of value to centralized systems. Similarly, Digibyte is now at the forefront of solving uh, most of the security problems that individuals and corporations are facing at the moment. Take an issue like identity theft, for instance. Every time you log into a website, you place yourself at risk for identity theft. This means that someone somewhere could be using your details to steal money from you or engage in a crime that could put you in trouble. This is a real problem that Digibyte will solve and will solve it at scale. It, it will solve it through services like DigiID. Through DigiID, it is possible to log into online systems without exposing yourself to the risk of identity theft. That's because with DigiID, you don't need usernames and passwords to log into a website. The process is done on one of the most secure blockchains to ever exist, making identity theft pretty much impossible. But, uh, and this article does a good job of pointing out two reasons why businesses or individuals will turn to Digibyte. So we'll get right to them here. Um, so there are incentives for websites to start using Digibyte for cybersecurity. Uh, the incentives is there and they are pretty huge. One of the reasons uh, why the incentive, incentive is at an elevated risk is the elevated risk of identity theft. Most companies that handle sensitive data such as money or are reliant on customer data to make money stand to lose big if their systems are compromised. As such, the fact that Digibyte offers an unbreakable solution to this problem is, good, is a good enough incentive for companies to turn to Digibyte as a cybersecurity system. So the second incentive is the, is the cost of installing this solution. Most cybersecurity solutions, especially those targeted at uh, corporations, do not come cheap. As a matter of fact, companies spend millions of dollars on security solutions every single year. And Digibyte offers a low cost solution for business and a solution that is impenetrable. That's because Digibyte solutions such as DigiID are free. And any business that can integrate DigiID into its systems for free can save loads of money and money that could be used in other aspects of their business. There's also the incentive for business to adopt it because once it gains traction, it will become the standard for online security and no serious business will want to be left out. So all of the above reasons point to a situation where Digibyte is at a tipping point before it explodes in value. Cybersecurity is slowly becoming the biggest threat to the web as such for decentralized as such for a decentralized solution that is offering a universal solution to this problem. Its growth prospects are pretty much guaranteed. So how high can Digibyte go? It's hard to tell. But the possibility of hitting $1 on the strength of its presence in cybersecurity is quite high as the market is huge and continuously growing. So let's switch to the second article here. 
VID gets together with Digibyte to boost digital file security. And this article is coming out of the Crypto Daily. So VID has just agreed to use Digibyte's blockchain and both parties will work together on a proof of concept for an industry standard digital verification platform. VID are a blockchain startup uh, presently going through their ICO. They have been working on, uh, they have a working product and existing clients in the file security industry. These clients include the likes of Airbus, Defense in Space, and Wild Radar Fauna Management Platform. So a quick look at Airbus as from their official website here. Airbus is a global leader in the defense sector, the largest defense supplier in Europe and among the top 10 de defense companies in the entire world. So that's certainly a very, very big partnership for uh, VID, which is only at an ICO at, at present time. So uh, what is it? The platform works by verifying clients' digital files. When, they file, when a file is created, it is written into the blockchain. The file can then be copied or renamed without any problem. However, if the file changes from the original in any way, VID will detect this change. Any client on the platform is able to submit a file for verification and have it verified in about five seconds. Use cases for this sort of service would probably run into the thousands and the market here is totally untapped. So uh, good job for VID for uh, providing a solution to this problem and being the first to do so. And a wise decision to partner with Digibyte, who is uh, the most secure blockchain uh, available today. So very few competitors ex exist in this arena. And it could be said that none of them have the same depth of rigor in their technology as VID. One arguable exception to this fact is Digibyte. And Digibyte's DigiSign is also a working product, and they similarly have an online portal for submittal of digital files for verification. An important addition here is that Digibyte are yeah, is that Digibyte are already major players in the world of crypto with, with their own extremely fast and secure decentralized blockchain and transactions that are incredibly cheap. So uh, Digibyte is extremely well thought of in the blockchain industry and has gained many admirers for being so committed to cybersecurity and its continual pursuit of blockchain innovation. Additionally, Digibyte has industry leading developers and a fervent of loyal community. It would appear to be a match made in heaven for both parties. VID, a digital file, file verification expert, comes to the table with its tried and tested marketing market leading technology and Digibyte also with a working product provides its super fast and super secure blockchain so that all digital files can be written to it. In conclusion, the fact that VID platform will run on the dis decentralized block Digibyte blockchain is a huge boost for VID given that Digibyte is also focused on security themselves. Who knows? Uh, who knows whether VID and Digibyte might actually enter into a partnership at some point. And should this happen, then I can honestly see them completely dominating the digital file verification market and becoming the de facto standard this industry de desperately needs. And that is, uh, without a doubt, uh, Digibyte being the most secure blockchain available uh, and VID having a working product that can verify uh, Ver that can verify the authentication of a file it, it would definitely be a partnership made in heaven and uh, again they have a very very large um, partnership for just being an ICO and an Airbus which is again the 10th largest uh, defense company in the world uh, so this last article here uh, Digibyte is now accessible on more exchanges through groundwork or the groundwork for Digibyte grows and is getting better. And this article is out of the Crypto Globalist. So, uh, Digibyte is now available on Change Now, which is an Android app that makes it easy to buy crypto assets through your phone. It was also added to Simple Swap just a few days ago. While these uh, are not big exchanges, nor do they give the headlines that an exchange like Coinbase would create, they are adding to the overall accessibility of Digibyte. Accessibility will play a huge role in the long-term growth and adoption of Digibyte and crypto in general. That's because the more accessible it is, uh, the higher volumes and by extension, the higher demand. So for Digibyte, uh, better accessibility is essential because its use cases are growing, which means that its demand will also grow over time. For instance, 
Its use case in online security is pretty much guaranteed at this point. Several businesses are now partnering up with Digibyte for issues related to cybersecurity, and it won't take long before the demand for Digibyte security features soars and leads to higher interest in Digibyte as a currency. As this demand increases, ease of access is what will play a role in drawing more investors and hence create an upside uh, pressure on its price. The most uh, that most investors who hold Digibyte are hoping for, and that is without a doubt. And this article kind of just goes on to point out that we don't, or Digibyte doesn't necessarily need the massive exchanges uh, such as Binance that we saw the other day where those hopes and dreams were kind of dashed. Uh, we don't really need uh, the listings on Coinbase. While certainly being listed on both of these exchanges would be uh, very a very big deal and certainly like, uh, see exponential growth in its awareness, but if Digibyte can continue to grow at a steady pace on smaller exchanges and become uh, more accessible throughout the world uh, by being adopted in these smaller exchanges, it will still grow on its own over time. It might not get the initial uh, flashbang that it would get from being listed on Coinbase or Binance, but its uh, real-world uses are stacking up by the day. I know Anthem is using it. I reported on another company using uh, their DigiSign technology in Thailand the other day. Uh, VID, if they can partner with them and then uh, use Digibyte's blockchain. Uh, the uses of its blockchain and its security features are becoming uh, more present seemingly uh, by the week. And if, it, if, uh, if its ability to be accessed or your ability to purchase it with uh, fiat or through various other exchanges continues to grow, then the future of Digibyte will, without a doubt, continue to increase in a positive direction. So uh, that will wrap up today's video. Again, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.